pleased to announce that Sandy Schaff will be giving her speech on McLeod's Daughters. Please welcome Sandy. By a show of hands, how many of you guys watch TV? <laughs> Thank you. It'll be interesting to ask you, what do you think is the most popular TV show in the last few years? Yes. Game of Thrones. Absolutely. That Business Insider in 2016 said that the first out of the top three, Game of Thrones was number one, number two was The Walking Dead, and number three, Pretty Little Liars. So let's see. A show that is heavy in murder and incest. A show that is based on fear and death. And a show about liars and murder. What do these three shows have in common? They are driven by darkness. Mm -hmm. Let's face it, do we really have anything in common with these shows? Can we really relate to them? Do they answer life's most pressing questions such as, is it okay for a girl to ask a guy to marry her? How about, what do you do when you find out the man you thought was your father really isn't your dad at all? And what about, is, is there really, can there really be world peace? Well, the answers can be found in this pretty old Australian series called McLeod's Daughters. It's a series that was made about 17 years ago. It ran for about eight seasons. And it's about a group of women that run a cattle sheep ranch in South Australia. They really toil their way every day through the work. There's a neighboring ranch run by this big wig with his two sons. The show covers multitude of social issues, life situations, relationship issues, and all interspersed with humor. Something that's really missing from our culture these days. Take for instance, is it okay for a girl to ask a guy to marry her? Tess and Nick, they secretly had a crush on each other and, but they were both too shy to admit their ex express their feelings for each other. And it wasn't until season four that they finally started dating. So the subject comes up. I mean, really, Nick's dragged his feet through four seasons. <laughs> so Tess just wants to cut through all the dating and courtship and get right down to it. So she comes to the conclusion that it is okay for a girl to ask a guy to marry her. Interesting enough, it's still relevant today. I'm sitting around with, I've had a few conversations with some of the young ladies in our circle of friends and relatives, and the subject did come up several times. And what's the foregoing conclusion? Amongst these young ladies that it's okay for a girl to ask a guy on a date, but they really draw a line when it comes to popping the marriage question because girls secretly really still want to be pursued. They want to be romanced. They really like all that stuff. So that is one of life's pressing questions answered. What about the second one? What do you do? when the man you thought was your dad turns out not to be your dad at all. Like Alex Ryan found out in season three, when his mom and dad, when his mom slipped up in uh, answering a question and all H broke loose. Interestingly enough, with Ancestry.com and 23andMe, that subject has come up. I was talking to a friend of mine 
and he was relaying the story and we got on the subject and he said there's no way he was going to take that DNA test. <laughs> he gave two good reasons. The first reason was he didn't want the government knowing more about him than they already knew. And the second reason, his half-sister took that test and the dad she thought was her dad turned out not to be her dad. And boy, um, her mom had some explaining to do. <laughs> and what did Alex do? Well, first he got really, really mad. He didn't talk to his mom for a whole season. And it's a good thing they live on a big ranch because there was a lot of work and toiling he could do to get out all his aggression. And a lot of big open fields so he could yell his lungs out. But eventually he got around to forgiveness. It was a great lesson on forgiveness. And that last most important question, can there really be world peace? Well, there can be if you approach life more like Alex. He's got this transparency and wit and inquiring mind that has a way of just cutting through all the BS and all that vagueness people like to you know, put in their words these days or not really say what they're feeling. He just cuts through all the bull and he reads those little raised eyebrows and doesn't leave it there. Just like he'll say, is there something we need to talk about? Is there something I've done? What well, there must be more to it than this. Or when you see someone manipulating, he'll say, nice play there. Or when his dad marries this woman that's half his age, this fortune hunter, Sandra, and he calls her like he sees it, wicked witch. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're looking for something to a reprieve from all that dark TV lineup, I highly recommend McLeod's Daughters. You'll find the answers to life's most pressing questions, interspersed with humor, wrapped up in 43 minutes. Thank you. <laughs>